Um, for all of you who haven't been here before, the brief history starts back in about 1939 when a group of surveyors were walking up this hill over here and said they noticed a few odd things about this hillside. Sort of make you feel like you can climb the walls. There's a water right here. a little taller than you. What we're going to do here is we're going to switch places. Stand outside the mystery spot now. If you look straight ahead, your eye level is below my chin. Mm -hmm. And I can see over the top of your head. On average, when you step into the mystery spot, you do lose about two or three inches of your height. Illusion, yes. So it's sort of acting like a, um, like a half pipe. Right. So whatever you put in there, ultimately, it's still down. It's kind of cool. Right. Um, yeah. The actual history of the cabin, there's like a story that um, we tell is that when it was first built here, it slid down the hill and stopped around the center of the mystery spot. And over the years, they rebuilt it here so that it would stay in this spot. Now, if you can carefully walk this way, so I'm trying to, you know, you're still walking up hill, right? No, I mean, no, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm right, dropping. I'm right, right now, I'm holding. Exactly, you're right. Um, where you no, are. well, from where I'm standing, okay, if I look at, like, you know, your eyes and his eyes, okay, I would say your eyes are below his. And uh, you can see that, that when the light comes through the uh, cylindrical glass uh, holding the water, that there is a magnification effect. Okay, and uh, we'll be talking more about these and other optical effects uh, during the uh, live program that's coming up shortly.